Hey everybody, I hope everybody is doing as well as you can uh, during this very challenging time. Um, this week we are going to start a second round of creativity challenges for my Zamorano community and anybody else uh, that would like to follow along and, and try them out. Uh, this week is going to be all about the pixels, right? using squares, rectangles, verticals, horizontals in a variety of ways. And this first challenge that we're going to do is going to be to create a pixelated landscape of a place that, that you love, a place that you want to be, a place that, has, uh, that you have a special connection to. I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can do it. One of them is with a free app called Pixel Studio, and I'll share a how-to video so you can see uh, what you can do with that. And you can also do it with traditional materials, pens, pencils, crayons, markers, etc. And I'll show you a couple of examples of those too. Um, so after you do the challenge, I'd really love to see what you're doing. So if you could please share it with me at ShineBrightZamorano on Facebook or on Instagram. Either way, you can uh, add it as a comment to the post and then that way I can I can see what you're doing because I or again would really love to see what you're doing I miss everybody um, so stay tuned check it out when you do the pixelation no matter which way you do it think about creating a foreground a front and a background possibly a middle ground too and then also think about how you can create uh, a sense of 3d by using pixels how are you going to do that very simply, you can do it with, with light and dark, even if it is more abstracted. So check out the examples I have and uh, have fun with it. So if you get started digitally with the, the app Pixel Studio, this is what it looks like. Uh, sometimes it has an anime style character as well. <laughs> but generally, if you see the PS with the pixelated background, you're, you're good to go. And that's the app that we're using today. So here's a quick example of how you can go about using Pixel Studio. So with my landscape, I started with the background. So the first layer, the layer blue, I used the paint bucket, the paint tool, and dropped a light blue color in there. So you can see all the tools down there at the bottom. So that's what I did first. The second step is to create a new layer and add stuff that you would see in the background, clouds and any, any details that are going to be far away. You can see how I use just a little bit of a darker color there to make them look 3D. Once you're done with that layer, create a new one and think about things that are going to be closer to you. So in this case, I'm looking at or thinking about the, the front of Zamorano with the flagpole and the office and where we walk through the gates right there. So I'm adding those details as well as the third layer. And then finally, you have the foreground. So I included uh, the, the, the yellow rectangle there as the gate that, that separates the, the, the campus there. I added the tree. You're also going to notice that I added some shadows to the flagpole, the tree trunk, and the, the tree leaves just to make them look more 3D. Once I get this done, then if I go to the three bar tool in the, the lower right hand side, I can go ahead and hit share. And that's going to allow me to... Uh, share it to the iPad and then I can send it whichever way I want after that. Now if you don't have access to an iPad or you want to do this uh, old school traditional ways uh, what you can do is just grab a piece of paper draw a square or a rectangle some type of frame and then start to draw. Now the key difference uh, as opposed to the app is that you would be starting with the foreground. Draw the stuff in the front first and then as you go back, you're going to overlap more and more of those elements. I find it much easier to work from the front to the back when I'm drawing with pencil versus going back to front with uh, an iPad or digital devices. So another example of that would be this drawing of my, my parents' home back in Pennsylvania. So again, I started with the foreground, the, the driveway, the, the house, and then I would move on to the background layers, but I start with. If you're working traditionally, once you have it all drawn in, then think about adding color to it, right? If you need to mix or blend colors, uh, if you're using uh, colored pencils or crayons, you can apply more pressure. You can press harder to make those shadows, to, to make your landscape look 
uh, more three-dimensional even though it is pixelated. All right, so that's the wrap up for the first pixelation challenge. So if you choose to accept this challenge, please make sure you share to shine bright Zamorano, either on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see what you're doing. So I'll be posting another challenge later on this week, tomorrow or Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And everybody take care of yourselves and stay creative.